Blender 4.3 dropped a couple of days ago and there is a ton of cool new features. But I bet you missed this one very important thing. So today I'll tell you what is it and why it's such a big deal for me. So if you look below all the grease pencil and geo notes updates, right at the bottom you will see there is a new experimental Vulcan back end. But hold on, what is a Vulcan and what is back end? Well back end is that thing that allows games or apps to communicate with your GPU. That's it. So adding Vulkan backend to Blender will allow users to use Vulkan to render the user interface. This is still an experimental feature. That's why it says performance can't be slower compared to OpenGL. And the goal of this release is to gather feedback on compatibility. And I can see that. When I turn on Vulkan, if I try to resize the window, it's slower than OpenGL and lags more. And there's a handful of little bugs like that. But if it's slower and has all those issues, why even make the switch? Well, as the devs established already, the current goal isn't raw performance, but achieving feature parity with OpenGL. It means making sure Vulkan can handle all the features and workflows OpenGL supports. All those new features, for example the docking update, which is miles ahead of what we had before. I mean, here's just a quick comparison of how to make a new window in the current version and in 4.2. It is absolutely perfect for multi-monitor setups. And to be honest, I didn't even think that we needed that. But it's just so awesome. Anyway, once parity and stability are achieved, developers can focus on optimization to make Blender faster in the long run. Because compared to the older API that has limitations when it comes to modern GPUs, Vulkan is designed with newer GPUs in mind. It offers better scalability and gives devs more control for more fine-tuned optimizations. And in general, it can handle tasks more efficiently, reducing latency and improving frame rates for UI rendering. So in a sense, Blender's move to Vulkan is an investment in the future. And by testing the Vulkan backend now, we are contributing to making Blender better for everyone. Especially for those with AMD hardware or Linux users. So yeah. It is slower today, but it's a very important step in the direction of a faster and more robust future. So for testing, go to Preferences and enable Developer Extras in an interface section. Then in the System section, change the backend from OpenGL to Vol. It will require restarting Blender, but after that, you can enjoy the early adopter experience. And obviously, I need to mention that if you need Blender to just work and don't want to deal with bugs, then don't do it. The vanilla version is as stable as it was. But for the enthusiasts, go right ahead. And while you're in preferences, you should change the new transform shortcuts. I have literally no idea why they did change those. I truly hope that there's just something wrong with my installation. But as it is now, if you press S, R or G, it will enable a gizmo for that transform. And if you want to actually do it, you need to press the button again. And if you want to enable a local transform, you need to press the button one more time. So three times in total. I personally am not a fan, and I'll be sure to note that when I'll make my bug report to the devs. 